What up YouTube? LTH coming at you with a video, 713 to buy your city, we up in here. So, since football season is upon us, and I know it's preseason, but I'm gonna have to talk about this. But before I talk about it, there has been injuries in training camp, including Titus Howard, who's gonna be out four to six weeks with a broken hand, but could return week one versus the Ravens. Though there's some couple other linemen that went on IR as well, you know, and then wide receiver JC Matthews suffered a torn ACL, which sucks. So kind of sucks that the injury, I mean, the training camp injuries are kind of piling up, you know, especially with that old line. So got to bring in some additional depth in the old line as well, because I already got two offensive linemen that's out for the year. It plus got Quisenberry and and that lineman from the University of Miami who went on IR as well with a season and an injury. So Texas going to Foxborough to take on the Patriots. So I know preseason doesn't excite me, but what I'm looking forward to seeing is how that new look defense is gonna fare and of course, CJ Stroud's gonna be QB1 for that game, preseason game. I mean, it's basically seeing who who makes the 53 man roster for sure. And what well, and of course the backups are gonna be playing as well for a spot at the 53 man roster. But I just wanna see what the new receiving core is gonna do as well. And of course Damian Pierce, I could see Pierce getting some reps as well. I mean, preseason don't really mean everything like I say, but it's going to feel good to finally watch Texans football again. You know, with all the moves they made, you know, building up their defense, you know, and looking forward to see, seeing, you know, Jimmy Ward, Derek Stingley, and even Jalen Pitch getting some reps in, you know, the starters. You know, for about some ser about some few series or two, then the backups come play and see what they can do. Yeah. Cause it's gonna boil down to how bad they want to be on that fifty three man roster. I mean cutting down to the fifty three man roster is gonna be different, you know, based on what came out earlier in the year. Cause normally back then Previous preseasons, they normally trim the roster down after each preseason game, but cutting down the roster to 53 is going to be different. So, I mean, I ain't got, I mean, I ain't got a lot to say, but I just wanted to put throw in my two cents in on what to watch for in this preseason, you know, including CJ Stroud and you know, see, I mean, just to see who eventually makes the 53-man roster. I mean, I don't care. I mean, I could care less about the preseason record because September 10th is what I'm looking forward to when they go to Baltimore, which I'll do a video on once preseason is over. So, and also it's going to come after my Texans preview video, 2023 season video as well. So, I mean... Anything I missed, just hit the comment section. I mean, you could be a Texans fan or a fan of any team. Hell, even a Colts fan, Titans fan, or even Jags fan. I mean, every NFL fan is welcome to comment. But to my next video, Houston checking on the body here. Go Texans.